Hunters are bound here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Immortal Empires and part 11 of my Beast Men campaign. Last time we went around in a big circle. Mostly because Morgo has now done his collecting of, of bits and pieces. Orc spines, dwarf skulls, paper clips, sticky glue, all that kind of stuff. And now he needs to go home, for some reason, to put it all together. My guessing is that he's probably going to use his, his own feces, because that's just classic Morka, but whatever. Anyway, we're heading back to the forest of Arden over here. Um, so we've kind of we've gone through Bretonia and Astilia, and sort of a little bit of, of Tilia as well. And then we, we kind of kicked the crap out of some green skins as well, to get their spines, obviously. And now we're heading back into the Empire. Um, Malagor's also got a quest item somewhere around here, so we could probably do that as well. In fact, did we actually complete that? Yes. So, yeah, we need to move... Yes, yeah, so we need to move Ma Malagor back up here, which we might do. Maybe I'll do Morgur's thing first. Anyway, so Carl is currently hunting Scarstick in the Grey Mountains, and that works out well for us, because it does mean that the Reichland is pretty much ripe for the taking, so we're just going to go and burn down all of the right clan, just put it to the torch. All that kind of good stuff. We just need a little replenishment. We did take out Wissenberg last time as Oxel Rose. He's catching up. Did I should have moved him? I should have. Never mind. He'll catch up. Mutalica as is also out of action. We sent him to go and. Uh, I mean, not even do. I just, I just wanted him to do something to a Wood Elf town. Just. I don't know, you know, just trample some flowers or something. That's all he had to do, and somehow he managed to screw up. Ah, oh, there's the uh, Bretonia is coming coming down to say hello. Interesting. Now this might be slightly more difficult because obviously we've got the the Bray herd with us, so they will start moving armies down to intercept us because they can see us. Whereas we could just hide and then hit some of the towns. I mean, Nullen is probably going to be... We, I, I think we're getting a lot, lot of cash for taking out Nullen. But like Grunberg, Helmgart and Eelhart all over there are, are all un, sort of unwalled at the moment. So taking them out would be very, very easy. Well, comparatively, anyway. Ah, Mutalica is back. Where is he? He is over here. Now, I think I might have miscounted here. Because... I've got 19 units, but I've got two heroes, so I need to get rid of... Uh, I mean, I could get rid of the Ungle Spearmen. I mean, realistically, they're not even that good anti-large. How much anti-large bonus do they have? 15, which gives them 15 more melee attack. Which is pants anyway. And uh, yeah, to, to be honest, I mean, they do have charge resistance. But when was the last time I actually received a charge with anything with anti... I tend to just use whatever's to hand, so... Uh, yeah, you're gone. Bye. Surplus to requirements. Right, where's, where's Mutalica? There he is. Mutalica, are you going to get in here? Go do some training. That's what we need. And Oxel Rose, you are going to move all the way up. You're not going to join Morga just yet, because obviously that would stop him from actually moving. So we're not going to do that. Uh, are you... Madeleine de Bois? Shut up. Right, Bretonia. You are military allies with the Empire. Yes, that's what I thought. So if I attack Nullen, which has a quite beefy garrison, then the Bretonians will probably come and join in. I don't think Balthazar Geltz can reach nuts. So, I mean, we could do it. Or I could... I mean, hmm. I... I think I can take this. I think I can take both of these. I mean, I do have my Bray Herd as well. So, you know what? I'm going to lay siege. This is, uh, this is brazen, but I've become more... 
more brave as our army has got better. Oh, they've got hippogriffs. Uh, uh, demigriffs, even. Um, that's probably okay. That's probably fine. We can we can deal with them. No problem. So build some siege towers. And when will they run out of supplies? One turn. Yes. That's pretty good. So let's move Malagor up because obviously with Oxal Rose currently not, not joining us. We need some magical support. Not in this world or the other. Oh, they've got um, they've got a lot of mounted yeomen, but that's okay because those guys are garbage, so we we should be fine. And obviously we've got our bray herd; they should come up and join us and support us. So if we do get attacked, we should at least have a lot of beast men to throw at them. So the Empire is still sticking in the Grey Mountains. I mean, that works out for me because that gives me some more time to to take on Null. It looks like the Bretonians are retreating. Again, that works out for me. We might just be able to... I mean, we've got, we got, we'll have two Siege Towers. Plus, we've got a lot of Beastmen to throw. So we can probably hit the walls with those two Siege Towers and then smash the gate down. Because the sooner we can hit Grunberg... Helmgart and Eelhart. I don't want Karl and Balthazar canoodling again and then joining up to to attack me with multiple armies. That would be that would be bad. So the sooner we can get just burn a nice trail through Reichland so that when Karl comes home he just finds a smouldering wreck. Uh, okay, Commander of the Herd. Okay, so another guy has done the thing. Uh, let's let's ex I mean best do I want best still rage I don't really need it I could have leadership I guess leadership can be a double-edged sword because yes your units stick around for longer but they've got more chance of being completely wiped out so actually you know what I'm gonna go for the best rage we're just gonna kill him insubordination is unacceptable right I think I mean that that looks fairly fairly straightforward I mean we've got a Saigor we got some Minotaurs. I don't think this is going to be too problem. Hello, who's that? Okay. Who the hell? Battle prayers, armor piercing, damage dealer. What do you do? Wolf's howl. Ugh. Disciplined, encouraged. Well, that sounds awful. Let's fight this one. Here we are at Nullan, obviously known for its artillery. Soon to be known for being a pile of rubble. So the cycle's already chucking rocks at the gate, it's done some damage. And our herpes, and, the, and some harpies, herpes and harpies, are going to swoop down and start taking out some of these hand gunners that are currently opening fire on our chaos spawn. Now our main army is approaching this gate over here, whereas a lot of the Bray Herd units are approaching the other gate just to try and pull off some of these defenders. So we're going to no siege towers here, just use ladders and you, you can really tell the difference between using siege towers and using ladders. A lot of these guys don't survive. However, over here we are doing fairly well for ourselves. Siege towers approaching. The herpes and harpies have managed to wipe out quite a few of these handgunner units, really managed to cut those down. I mean, the herpes are currently on 37 kills. Pretty good. Gauls now arriving on the walls. Fighting some halberdiers. Don't think we're going to have a problem there. Currently swarming the walls, opening fire, herpes and harpies everywhere. The minotaurs on this ult have already managed to kick the gate in, which I... I, I kind of wonder that even though the Chaos Spawn have better attack and weapon strength, whether there's something about the Minotaurs that just makes them a better unit. Maybe they're like attack animations? I'm not entirely sure. And over this side, the Gauls and Ungauls are slowly getting onto the wall, but only in ones and twos. And that does mean that they don't quite have the numbers to push these Imperial soldiers back. However, the other gate is now down and we are swarming the Demigriffs. 
with as many Chaos Spawn as we can manage. They've already cut down a few, but they are just being overwhelmed by sheer weight of numbers. You can see they are rapidly losing health there. They are, of course, anti-large. So they will be doing... Are they anti, no, they're anti-infantry. Of course, the, the demigraph with, with halberds are anti-large. There we go. They are getting overwhelmed very, very quickly. And the wall on this side is very much under our control. More Gauls swarming out of the siege towers. Taking some friendly fire there, but... Ah, whatever. Some halberds have tried to reinforce the demigriffs, but have been cut off by more Gauls coming through the now smashed down gate. And they're going to very quickly break and run. And our Chaos Spawn are heading for the city centre. Herpes moving over to assist the, the Bray Herd, as their forces are taking quite a bit of punishment. Herpes and Harpies going to swoop down and assist with these halberdiers. And some Empire Knights have met the Chaos Spawn. But we're going to cast... Uh, what was it? The... You had it cast them. There we go. Mantle of Gorok. Which is going to increase the weapon damage and melee attacks. They've got 322 weapon strength and 156 melee attack. And these Empire Knights are going to very just evaporate effectively. They are they are they are gone. And then we can charge right into this mortar that's been doing a fair amount of damage to us. Immediately one of the mortars just explodes. Malagor picking himself up there. I think he got knocked over by Chaos Swarm. And then the defenders on this wall, seeing the city fall, break and run. But they did do quite a lot of damage to our herpes, and they killed a lot of our Bray Herd. But that's what Bray Herds are for. Ram took most of our casualties there. Ram? Really? It's a stupid name. He lost a unit. That doesn't matter. What do I care? And I think Morgo got another... Another level. That's good. And we can get 12k for putting Nullen to the torch. And Morgo is a confident besieger. We'll take them from under the ground. Don't you worry, it'll be done soon. And we've got a pelt of the Shadow Gave. A rotting pelt. Shrouding dark tendrils of malice that only the bravest or foolish should wear. That's for Malagor. Gives him missile resistance. That could come in useful? Sure. You know what, I think I'm actually going to start getting... I think Malagor might get some some friends. Minotaurs would only be for... I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to get some Minotaurs for him. I mean, we can afford them. Could I have moved Oxal Rose? I could have moved Oxal Rose to join. Never mind, I uh, didn't really need him. There we go. He's joined the army. There we go. Uh, Morga, you're going to get... Uh, you could go Call of Violet. I mean, a lot of our units are pretty elite now. Like the Chaos Spawn. So we could potentially go for Apocalyptic Herd, because that would give us more melee damage and missile resistance. That would be quite nice. Let's get Call of Violence. We feel it. We all feel it. The pull to war, the tug of battle, the need to kill... It's going to increase our leadership in a 40 month. Not we really need it. And then we can get uh, Apocalyptic Herd. Amidst the ranks of the Beastmen, these chaotic individuals have risen, favoured by their gods. Missile resistance, morale, and melee damage. So even more melee damage for our Chaos Sport, which means they now have almost 300 weapon strength. Which is a bit obscene, to be honest. And they've also got a little bit of missile resistance, which should help, because they do tend to get shot up quite a bit. And Metallica has got a skill point. I think we get maybe unnatural thirst more. Oh, gnarled hide. Um, a melee defense. That's got to, got to grab that, really. God, really? Slaughter's cool gives more melee attack. Okay, gnarled hide it is. That's going to give us more uh, 50 more armor and 10 more melee defense, which is, I mean, makes his armor look quite respectable. And melee defense, I mean, that's, that's again pretty good. He is... Uh, He's a bit of a beast in combat now. Well, he always was. Okay, so we can hit Gronberg. I might pass on Altdorf because I just think the garrison is just going to be a bit... I don't think it's worth the effort. I just think... 
Well, I don't know. R Ram? Is it Ram? Ram, your army is looking decidedly... Yeah, well, well we, we might take Altdorf later. You don't need to. Where are you going? You, are you doing your own thing? Are you going for Grunberg? That's mine. Or maybe he was going for the raiding? Because obviously he won't get any raiding currency in a province that is ruined. Or it's just ruins. So maybe he was going for the... But maybe he was going for... Bro maybe he thought he could make a break for Gronberg and pick up some easy cash. What a jerk. That's... It's beyond the pale. Right, he is... Okay, I've got. A, yeah, he's he's dead. We don't need him anyway, and he's his spray hurts damaged now. Stilia seems to be enjoying a lovely walk through the forest for some reason. I wonder if they're chasing me, like revenge, swearing revenge. Okay, Ram. Why don't you... I've, I've heard that Carl is, is wandering around by himself and he's got a lot of money on him. So why don't you go and attack him? Enjoy. And then we're going to get Malagor. I'm going to recruit... I'm, because Malagor is generally going to be chasing our army and reinforcing, what I might do is get him some centigors. Okay, so let's hit Grunberg. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be an easy auto resolve. That's no problem. There we go. And I, is it worth it for that? Could get horde growth. I mean, we've got a lot of money at the moment. And I do kind of want to, to beef up. Get some more bills. So yeah, so let's let's raise it instead, because that's I mean three gay. I'm maybe I'm getting Maybe I'm getting a bit elitist in in my old old age, but 3k just doesn't cut it anymore for me. It's nothing. So Morga is a superior attacker. So he's got plus four melee attack, lots of leadership aura size. I mean, not that Morga is much of a leader. And Malagor has got a biting blade. It's nice for him. Not sure what he's going to do with it, but there we go. Uh, right, Morga, you've got another skill point. We could go for apocalyptic vision, because that's going to give everyone in 40 meters plus 30. Not that we really need more melee attack. I mean, melee attack is, is pretty good throughout the army. I mean, maybe he could boost up the gores, potentially. But, I mean, the the Chaos Spawn have... Yeah, they're, they're, they're probably okay. Um, okay, so... Ginotaur... Oh, we don't have... Mo we don't really have Minotaurs. Glorious Chargers. That would give them more speed for Centigors. Not that my centigors have any... Well, they, they are fairly high rank because they started off like that. Let's go for Glorious Chargers. I do like the red line, to be honest. We might go for Savage... So I think give Gores. Is there any upgrade for... Oh, yeah, Gores. Do I want that? Oh, we do have a lot of Gores. Charge bonus, Missile Dam... Eh. Maybe I'll get that next. And Octal Rose, you've got a skill point. We're going to go for Occam, well, Occam's Mind Razor. I do like Occam's Mind Razor. Smoke and Mirrors is quite nice, though. It's additional speed, and we're already pretty fast, so that's going to be a, quite a huge bonus. Oh, let's get Smoke smoke and Mirrors. Let's do that. It goes off whenever we cast a spell, so it can only be good. Uh, Malagor, you're going to sit down for a little while. More, actually, Morga. You've got eight population surplus, but we need twelve. In fact, I just, I just wondering because I I think it caps out at twenty growth a turn, so I don't actually think raising anything gives us anything. Gives us any, I don't think it means we get two extra. I'll double check. If we've we've got eight population surplus at the moment, we should theoretically get twelve. We should end up with 12 if it doesn't cap out. If it caps out, then we'll end up with 9. In which case, I know that may as well get the money. Oh, hello. 
Oh well, there goes um, what's his face. It's alright, we'll, we'll get a new army. Oh, he's got a hell blaster volley cannon. Ugh. Scarstick. If Scarstick can beat Karl and Balthazar in the Grey Mountains, then destroying the Reichland should be easy. In fact, we might even then go for if we can get another Bray Herd, I might go, might go for Altdorf, because if we can if we can finish off the Empire now, that's one less thing to do later. Now, I, sh oh, I should get Malagor to go and search the ruins. Oh. Mind you, it might be a little bit risky at the moment. Because searching the ruins means he can't hidden in camp. And if he's by himself, he is a grade A target for anyone nearby. Uh, so the Empire won a close victory. And our Bray has been destroyed, but we don't care because he was going after what is mine. Cheeky little, cheeky little so-and-so. I, I wonder if we can, we might be able to catch this empire out, potentially. Let's go and, okay, we've got, a, we've got 11. Did I miscount? I probably miscounted. I'm not very good at maths. Still, 11 growth, that's not too bad. We could maybe go for the Centacle with great weapons that would actually give us some units with... Wait, they don't have armor piercing. Really? Are you sure? I thought they did have armor piercing. Apparently they don't. That's not ideal. Oh, we could get the Wargors. I don't know what they are. They're a new unit. But they sat, I mean, they're a legendary unit. They are quite expensive. They do have good stats, though. What would that do? Lord Recruit rank, Horde growth plus four, research rate plus ten. I mean, it's not bad. Could potentially go for that. Um, I'm surprised these don't have armor piercing. I'm, I'm sure they... Did? Am I wrong? Did I make that up? Did I imagine that? The other thing we could get is a Darkling Council, but I, I kind of... I mean, I, I'm not too bothered about the Mound of Blades, because Charge Bow... I mean, Charge Bow would be nice, Melee Attack would be okay, but the upkeep reduction over here would be very, very useful. So I think I'm going to go for that next, because Minor Tools, yeah, I mean, it, it may be, but we, we can't really have many of them anyway, and... The Razor Gore Herd and the Razor Gore Chariot. It would be nice, but I think I'm going to go for upkeep. I mean, we've got so much money at the moment that I'm probably being overly cautious, but. Right, let's go and. Morgoth, you're going to sneak over here. Are we in the right at the moment? We could do some raiding. Let's do some raiding. Let's get some cash. And then Malagor is going to move up and join you. I think what he's going to do is in camp, and then... Right, he's going to get the Darkling Council. He's also going to get the Rude Burrow. And... I think he's going to get some Minosaurs with shields. Maybe we're just getting some Ungor. So we can swarm the enemy. No, I don't want to know what the Ungor are. I know what they are. Let's get him four units of Ungor. He's going to be sat for a turn. I think that's... Yeah, one more turn. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll get some more cash as well. We can go get Helmgart. Destroy that. If we can get another Brayherd, I might go for Altdorf. Did someone try to assault us? It's like Colt Castlane tried to assault Morgur, but tripped over his own feet... And uh, killed himself, so good good job there. So Scarsting and the Greenskins have made peace. 
And it looks like Skarsnik might be on the way out. I don't think anything's going to save him. That's a shame. But on the other hand, the Empire's going to lose Reichland, so... Someone did say the, the Pestigals are a really good frontline units. And I had a look at them, and indeed they are. They've got very high armor, good melee defense. They regenerate, which is amazing. And uh, I think they have resilience. So I'll probably want to get some of those. They are expensive, though. I think they're like th three times the cost of a Gore unit. Uh, so the Dark Moon... So we could move further, but that would make us tired. Is that going to be a problem, though? Well, I'm going to say... I'm, I think we're going to go campaign movement, because then we can hit Helmgart and Eelhart. It's only for three turns as well. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go no matter how far. Aim for the head. New targeting techniques have been introduced to your army's training regimes. I... Okay. Teaching the troops to focus on enemy weak points. Damaging from missile uh, weapons has increased faction-wide as a result. Weapon damage is plus 25%. There we go. We've got Ungor Raider Marksman. One shot, one kill. Okay, so I think we're safe to go after uh, Helmgart. So let's move up. We can... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, just, just in circle for the moment. We'll get, we'll get Malagor up as well. He's got Sun Gores. And he's also bringing in a little bit of cash. And we should be able to recruit another Bray Shaman. Yes, we can. Good. So what do I fancy? So we've got a, we've got a Shadow. Oxal Rose. One through. And Malagor himself is a, a wild. So we could go for beasts, maybe. We get... Schwizgru, who is who's absolutely mental. He is off the chain. I mean, both of them are. One's aggressive, one's got Korn's Fury. But Car and... I mean, we could go for... could go for... What was that? Uh, death. Death magic. Weapon strength plus 10% for Minotaur units. And we, don't, we aren't going to have many Minotaur units. But I think I will have some in Malagor's army. So do we want Gua? Gua? I mean, more weapon strength is, is good. Or we could just go for another shadow. That's knowledgeable. I do like to have, like, a spread of magic. So maybe I'm going to go for... for be I don't often take beasts. So maybe I'll go for... I mean, none of the, neither of these are particularly... It gives him frenzy. I mean, don't... Am I wrong in thinking that most... Don't you have frenzy anyway? You've got primal fury, which is different. So, what are we looking at? There we go. Very sharp. Yeah, okay. So, what I'm. Is Frenzy different? It looks. This, it's, oh, it's weapon damage, melee. Okay, let's get let's get Schwizgru because he's, he's mental. He's absolutely stark raving bonkers. We're going to get Whisserin's wild form. Uh, we could get a flock of doom. Wild Heart's good because it increases power reserve. That's good. We could get the Amber Spear. That's quite good against single targets, I think. And that's something we're kind of missing. Damage resistance. And I quite like Flock of Doom. So let's get that. Let's do that. I don't think you can join us in this battle. I think you're going to be... No, not quite. But we could auto-resolve this. I mean, yeah, it pretty much looks in our favour, so I'm just going to water resolve it. No problem there. And I think... I think I'm just... I'm going to loot and... Re well, yeah, no, I'm going to loot and raise. Get the cash. We've got a Barbarian. We've got a Magister. Fine. We can't hit in camp because we've moved too far, but Malagor has picked up a skill point. We could go for Slug Skin. We could go for Rune of the True Beast. But I think... 
power drain. I'm fairly sure power drain works if you reinforce. Although, now I come to say it, I'm not entirely sure that's true. Anyway. Uh, so let's get... Let's get Monstrous Beastmen. Because that's going to give our Cygors, Gauls, Giants and Minor Tools more weapon strength, missile resistance, charge bonus and reload time. So that's that's good. I will eventually want to get a Cygor. In fact, we could get a Cygor now. Malagor could get one. Would that be a good idea? Not sure. Uh, Metallica, you've got a skill point. Let's get uh, Unnatural Thirst, more hit points. Or more melee defense. We could get more melee defense here. I'm not too bothered about... Oh, Slaughterous Call though. Melee attack plus 8 for Ungor and Gore units. That's too good not to take, so we'll grab that. So that's going to beast up... Uh, beast up? Boost up. I'll go ahead my attack, and then we can go for Eelheart next turn. I might go for Karaburg as well. Maybe we get... Well, no. I, I'm going to get sidetracked if I go... Do I go north first, though? Do I do do I do I Malagors, or do I do Morgur's thing? I mean, Morgur is is our legendary lord. I think Skarsnik's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he had a, he had a good running. But um, yeah, he's he's dead. We've lost our military ally. <sighs> At least he kept them busy. I wonder how the, the Tomb Kings are getting on. I've heard Setra does, does go a bit crazy. And ends up conquering most of the, the south. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. I wonder, I wonder how Kalida's doing down there. And Krokgar. Problem is the map is so big at the moment. It's, it's, I mean, in my Tomb Kings campaign, I never actually went and saw what Ulthwan was like. I just never had the time. Okay, so the Crooked Moon are dead. We do have Man Cleavers. So that's more melee attack for Ungor and Gauls and charge bonus. So, jeez, they, they've they got 47 melee attack. Jesus. Um, it does mean we can go for Envoy of the Dark God. Uh, yes, yeah, no, that's what I wanted to do. That's right. And that's going to give us the ability to recruit Slangor, Pesticor, Zangor, and Corngor. It's also going to give us more diplomatic relations with Chaos and Beastmen for all the good that's going to do. Okay, do I want to move on Eelheart? I kind of do. So, let's move over there. Can we... Um, yeah, that's, that's all resolved. That one, that's going to be easy. And I'll take the cash. Thank you very much. Oh, there is a, there's a, a fairly large army there. That, that could be problematic. Jesus Christ, how far can we move? Okay, we're going to encamp there. And I'm going to recruit a Saigor. That is going to take two turns. Jeez, they're only 283 upkeep. That's nothing. I could get two of Let's get two of them. And Shruzugu, if you've got a good name for, for Shruzugu, yeah, let me know. Only problem being that uh, it might not happen for a little while, but I will I will make note of it, I promise. So Oxal Rose, you've got a skill point. We could... You do have a Razor Gore Chariot. Do I want to, give you, do I want to make you a Many-Limbed Fiend? I mean... You do have a mark of Slanesh, so the more arms, probably the better. I guess. I'm. That's a mental image that is not going to leave me for a little while. So let's give, let, you, you are a many-limbed fiend. There you go. Enjoy your many limbs. Good. So that's the thing. Uh, we should be able to hit Karaburg as well. I, well, we could do, or we could... Right, how long before you get another Brayherd? I mean, you've got post Brayherd blues... But frankly, your bestial rage is through the friggin' roof. So I suspect you... I mean, we could go and burn Marine both ground. Or Altdorf. There's a lot of options here. Carl is currently busy in the Grey Mountains. Doesn't look like he's... 
wonder if he knows what I'm up to. I mean, he must do. I mean, theoretically, he would know, but... Imagine he's there campaigning against Scars and it comes home, everything's on fire. And that's that's the worst way to come home. Come home to everything on fire is, is just the worst. We found local tribes, that's nice. So that, uh, that will give us more replenishment. It also reduces our recruitment costs. And I think increases recruitment rank. That might not be true, that last one. Okay, Marineberg have got two armies, so that's probably that's probably too many armies to deal with. And we've got Savage Blows, that's more charge bonus, not that we really need additional charge bonus, of course. Uh, Malagor is going to be busy for a couple, yeah, he's, he needs one more turn. Do I maybe just hold up for the, for the moment? I mean, we might be able to draw in Marineburg. They might decide to come and settle Eelhart. I think they are within one turn's movement range of Eelhart, so they might move in. I mean, that be, could be good. Also, we could then... Ooh. So do I want to get the pile of, f pile of flesh? More than, mere, more than mere dedications, the Plague Lord. Piles of putrid, rotting flesh are points from whence chaos flows. That sounds very unhygienic. So what growth have we got? Core character technology events. So in actual fact we've got a lot of growth coming in every turn. So we could, this will cost us 4 growth and then 8 growth. But it will reduce our upkeep by 10% which is pretty, pretty huge. I mean both both units, I mean we, we are going to be spending some money on the, the Cygors though but I mean, they're, they're giant one-eyed monsters that can lob rocks at people. Why would I not want them? So let's... I mean, okay, Minotaur-wise, I'm not too bothered about not having Minotaurs in Morgo's army. I think that's fine. We could get the Giant's Lair, and that does give us more weapon strength for this army. But do I actually want a Giant? I mean, my head is saying no, my heart is saying, dear God, yes. But let, Right, okay, well, let's, let's get the, the pile of flesh first. I mean, it's unsanitary and a health and safety nightmare, but still, upkeep reduction is, is upkeep reduction, so whatever, we'll do that. And I think, let's, let's upgrade to the pelt totem so, so Malagor can get some pestigors, uh, Bestigors, not Pestigors, Bestigors if we need them. We can also get next turn the the special units. So that'll be the the Pestigors, the Slangors, all that kind of I would like some Slangors for the armor piercing because we currently do not have any. So that would be very useful. And the Pestigors would be good for just holding the front line. Potentially. So that could be good. And the Slangor, yeah, I think the Slangors would be useful. Maybe I'll get rid of the Ungle Spearman and get Slangor in here. That could be good. Start off with rank 2. Cool. Excellent. Unfortunately, we are running out of time, so I'm going to have to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.